So if you've seen some of my other videos about webcams, you know I got a bunch of them. Now, one thing that constantly plagues me is, and I'll be real quiet so you can hear it, the background noise in my office. So a company reached out to me called Emeet, and they told me that they have a webcam that has four built-in microphones. And those four built-in microphones have noise cancellation. Emeet, thank you for sending me this webcam to go ahead and check it out. Now, real quick, I did not pay for it, so therefore this video is kind of sponsored by them. Uh, but the views and opinions are still my own. They do not see this video before it comes out, so they see it when it goes live, when you see it. Now before we get started, to help with the YouTube algorithm, please go ahead and slap that like button. And at the end of the video, if you liked everything, then consider subscribing. Let's get started. So here is the Emeet all-in-one webcam. It's got four microphones, two speakers, and it is 1080p. Thank you for choosing Emeet. We've got the manual. And this is the HD webcam Emeet C as in Charlie 980. So C980 Pro. Oh, this is actually pretty nice here. Got a carrying bag, it looks like. It is definitely a lot bigger than I was expecting. And it has a magnetic lens cap, I'm assuming. That's pretty cool. There we go. The cable is connected to it, so check this thing out. Look how big that is. Now let's see uh, how long this cable is. Usually they're about six feet long or so. And that is my arm span. Yeah, so it looks like it's a little bit more than six feet long, and it has a little protector on the USB end itself as well too. It is USB 3. Comes with a little protector here if you want to go ahead and cover that up while you're not using it and putting it in its storage bag. Now just to give you a comparison on the size, so here is the Emeet C980 Pro. And here is a Logitech Stream Cam. And I wanna say it feels like it probably weighs a bit more too. The build quality of this, this thing is like rock solid. It also has a, an end here to be able to attach it to say like a, a tripod or something. And then it opens up. There we go, let's see if you can read that here. There you go. So let's plug it in and see how it looks, shall we? I'm using the built-in microphone on the Meet to actually record this and as well as the video as well. So how does this sound? Now I'm gonna go ahead and just stay quiet. Let's see what kind of noise it picks up from the background. So how does that sound? Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Now to give you a quick comparison, I'm going to turn off the sound on the webcam and switch over to my Blue Yeti USB mic. And now I'm back on the Blue Yeti USB mic. So I'm using the Blue Yeti to go ahead and record the audio on this because I'm going to do a test now uh, playing one of my other YouTube videos and using this webcam as the actual speaker. It has the two built-in speakers, one on each side, and I'm curious uh, how clear and loud it gets. The distance from the microphone to the speakers is about 13 and a half inches. Let me turn it all the way up here. <laughs> wow. So it is definitely louder than most laptops. Give me one sec. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed my MacBook Pro here. It's at max volume and I have the same video up and I'll go ahead and hit play. Now the distance is a little bit further. It's about 14 to 15 inches instead of about 13 and a half, but otherwise I would be blocking the camera here. Uh, actually, that might not be so bad. All right, so let's see how that sounds here. Now I'll switch back over to the built-in uh, speakers on the webcam.
Now, I can definitely hear the difference uh, between these two, and it is definitely louder on the MacBook Pro, but at this price point for a camera with built-in speakers, it is typically uh, a decent upgrade for what's built into most machines anyways, especially when you're looking at PCs in general, uh, where the built-in webcams are typically only 720p, so jumping up to 1080 is pretty good. Um, also, one thing I almost forgot, I'm gonna turn off the light here, and this is without any type of LED light, so it's just the ambient light here in my office and it performs pretty well actually surprisingly well just to show you the difference i'll switch back over to my regular camera there we go and i'll turn this back on and switch back to the meat so overall i think it handles exposure pretty well now let's go ahead and take a look at the low light performance Okay, so to really test out the low light on this thing, I went ahead and drove to a parking lot here, and I don't have any lights on in my car. I'll turn on one of the cabin lights here so you can see that. And I'm curious with the software on the Mac on how well it performs. So let's take a look at that. I do have the Emit Link software loaded up for Mac. So here I'm changing the white balance. I'll restore to default. There we go. So here is the brightness. I'm going to turn down the screen. The screen's off right now. I can't see anything on the screen. I don't know how bright this is. Now I just barely turned on the screen. I slid that all the way up to 100%. It looks pretty washed out. Let me just restore it again here. I'm turning up my screen. Let me see if I can dial this in a little bit. Well, from what I can see on the screen, it looks pretty good. Let me turn down. There we go. How do I look? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's see how well this will do. I'm using a, uh, a sunshade. Now that is the screen lighting my face up, so I'm going to turn it all the way down. So I have the sun shade up, and there's like no light in here. I can't really see that well. So let's turn it back up. So tell me what you think. It's interesting for sure. I, I never expected it to perform this well with like practically no light. So. so who is this webcam for, you might be asking? Well, simple. Anybody that wants to upgrade an existing laptop, which for the most part is only going to have a 720p camera anyways, you can see the difference going from 720p to 1080, even though you're streaming on conferencing software. Now, another big hurdle for most laptops outside of, say, like a MacBook Pro or other creator-based laptops is the loudness of the built-in speakers on you know, those particular machines. And a lot of times you're not going to get the volume that you want to be able to hear somebody, especially on a conference call, in a conference room. So by having this camera with the built-in speakers, then not only can you necessarily like move it closer to you, you know, if you wanted to like this here, then what is built into the webcam on your laptop, but because you can move it around and it has the built-in speakers, which are louder than a lot of laptops out there that I've tested, this is a, a pretty decent solution. Now with the four microphones for the noise canceling, I'm thinking that that is more for canceling out like echoes and reverb in a room rather than ambient noise like what is behind me. So let's go ahead and take this and hook it up to laptop. And... So what do you think of this? It's a huge webcam for a tiny little laptop. Yeah. <laughs> so it is windy outside, noisy. You got uh, wind chimes here, got dogs running around. Curious uh, how much is picked up by this. Let me see if I can turn this around. Clea, hi, how you doing? You gonna get those birds? Get the birds. Now a couple of things. 
the meet link software i was using version two point something before and now there is an update it actually popped up when i opened up the software and the latest version is four point zero point seven so went ahead and upgraded the meet link software from what i can tell it looks like that the picture quality is a little bit better Tell me what you think. Now, if you'd like me to compare this to some other webcams, go ahead and drop in the comment section down below what you want me to go ahead and compare it to and what kind of tests you'd like to see. Overall, I think that this is a strong performer, especially with the dual speakers, because you can go ahead and just take the camera here and stick it on a tripod wherever you want it to be at, while the laptop uh, that it's connected to could be further away or uh, maybe like hooked to a TV or something if it's in a conference room. This is a pretty cool camera. Over here somewhere, I'm gonna go ahead and put up a playlist of some other webcams and tests that I've been doing, so you can check that out. And then over here, YouTube recommends that you wanna go ahead and watch whatever this video is up next. And I'll catch you in the next one.